Hello guys, usual video from my car and today I want to talk about one quote that I've read in a tweet of Freck from Spotty. I really like that message. That software doesn't have to only work well but also fail well. What it means in a broader sense is that if something went wrong on the screen, the user should see what should be the next step to resolve the error. So if the error message for any error is just whoops something went wrong, that's not helpful to the end user. And from what I've seen, developers quite often leave that as an afterthought and don't pay too much attention. So typically in, for example, Laravel controller, you can find if else statements. So if everything is good, then we proceed with the functionality, else redirect back with some error message. Another case is try catch. So try this, if something goes wrong, then catch any exception and redirect back with message or return some error. But quite often we can make one step further and provide a few possible exceptions. Great example of that is Stripe. So if you go to Stripe documentation, there's try catch with a lot of possible exceptions. So what if card is declined? What if the balance is negative? What if something went wrong with the request? For all of that, there's a specific exception with specific message to show. And even if we talk about a regular eloquent thing like first or fail, or find or fail in eloquent, many of us use that, but the actual error message isn't that helpful. If the model, the object is not found, then the user would see on the screen, just empty page, not found. 404, not found. Not found what? Now I'm asking as a human person, not a developer. What should I do next? Not found. Should I click back? Should I call the support? Should I refresh the page? So basically you need to inform the user what could be the next step. Should they change their input in the form? What was exactly the validation message? And generally Laravel validation messages are quite okay, but sometimes you need to specify a bit more. Just go a little further. And in the description below, I will link a few videos about exceptions and how to customize stuff and a few topics around that that I've shot previously on this channel, so you can watch those. But generally, my point of this video is that think about the users who would encounter errors in your applications. Talk to them with error messages, what should they do next? I quite like the messages that I've seen sometimes online. It's like, something went wrong, please reload the page. If the problem persists, please contact our support at email such and such. So it's basically an instruction what to do for the user to overcome the error or to avoid it in the future. And as developers, we are not really UX designers or UX professionals, but there's something we can do from our point of view, even on the back end, so the front end users would be more happy. That's all for now. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos and on Saturday videos from my car and see you guys in other videos.